our show is Warehouse, Warehouse 13. 13. Are you surprised the show has gone on for as long as it's gone on? <laughs> Considering you're in it. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I think for me there was a part of that. Um, Warehouse 13 was my 10th pilot. I had had uh, four um, network shows prior to that. So, you know, it's, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta keep going and, and, uh, and luckily this one... We didn't feel done nice. them earlier. <laughs> Like season when we did season three, because I don't know, it didn't feel like it was going to be the end, and it kept going, and I wasn't really necessarily surprised. And I remember yeah. we went to New York uh, for the upfronts the first year, and Colin Ferguson and the people from Eureka yeah. were like, "Hey, welcome! You guys are in." You know, I'm like, "What do you mean?" They're like, "Well, you'll you'll be around for a while," and I, it was hard to believe in that, uh, but um, you know, sci-fi. Is, is pretty good to their, to their show. Well, the, the, the fans are really loyal. It's yeah. a loyal fan base. So. Have they yet come up with a uh, an artifact that you just haven't been able to wrap your head around? Yeah. That you've actually said, <laughs> you guys have got to be kidding. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted us to do um, one about John Holmes' penis poem. And I was just like, no way. Because I'm Irish, and that's it's cold. <laughs> no, that's not true. The job album was hard to swallow. <laughs> I actually had to ask if you were joking. I <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me, and I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, it, it, they're all kind of, you know, it's it's hard science sometimes. fantasy, and you know, you just um, if if the writers. You know, write it well enough, and I think they do. They it, do. It, it doesn't feel so eggy for us as actors. Sometimes it feels it doesn't. I, you know, doing it and looking at it are two very different things. We'll do something in the middle of the episode, and I'll just look at Eddie and be like, "What? Are, like, oh my god!" And then I'll see it cut to, cut together and be like, "Oh, I get it now." And sometimes it takes watching it in that format. But there are certainly times during filming where I'm like. This is the end of my career. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, well, that's great. Have you ever worked on a show before that has required that kind of leap of faith? Where? Not quite like this no. one. No, this no. is a whole animal on its own. We, we've coined, a, we've coined a, a term or phrase, it's called schmacting. And that's when we have to act against things that aren't really there, whether they be on green screen or you know, okay, yeah, you know, the so apparition, is it's swirling around your head, you're your terrified, face. you, you know, <laughs> you, but it reminds you of your mom, so you're sad, <laughs> and, and so you just go, oh my god, no, no. Lee um, Strasberg turning in his exactly. grave. Right. Stanislavski. Stanislavski. <laughs> we can put schmacking right up there with smell. Oh, uh, there's also yeah. facting. Yeah. Facting yeah. when we have to do exposition. It already, is already Saul has coined the a facting. A lot of facting to just, do. Uh, there's backting when it's just your back. It's just your back acting. It's just your back to camera. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of backting when it's Eddie's close up. Yeah. <laughs> Not to get philosophical on you, but I mean. If you buy into the fact that matter cannot be created nor destroyed, right. isn't it possible that an inanimate object can be imbued with some of course. supernatural it's totally thing? Totally possible. How do we know it's I not? Yes. I'm, I'm He's not, a cynic. I'm less of a... I'm not. I mean, I don't know. I suppose that anything is possible, but... Uh, you don't think your toys come alive? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless they've got some batteries in them. <laughs> That really, oh, I've really gone to another place. Back to John. You need yeah. to have your lunch time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Gets dirtier, so less pranky. sure, <laughs> but, but, slower. Hey, you know, I mean, I, it would be cool if, if this stuff were, were true. I mean, it could be true. How do you know it's not true? It could be. You know? Um, what do we really know? Not yeah. a whole lot. What is it about the show that absolutely would come, make you come back week after week to see? For, for me, I, I like to I like to watch shows. That, you know, <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I, I, like, I would come that. back to watch Joanne. <laughs> no, um, you know I, I like to watch shows that make me laugh. You know, like I love Judd Apatow and what they're doing. And, and so, if the show truly makes me laugh, I want to come back because not much makes me laugh. And I think we 
I think we hit that every once in a while on this show. We do. Um, and uh, you know, to, to to be able to play such serious beats and to be able to also be silly and comical at the same time is, uh, I mean, for me that would be a great reason to show back up and, and watch again. Joy. Um, I don't. <laughs> You know, I can say it's so different as an actor because you don't see the medium the way that other people see it. Um, I guess the, 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 the incredible actors that we have on our show, you know, someone like Saul Rubinak and CCH Pounder, um, who, can, who can do flips on a dime and, and somersaults and, and watching... Um, Kate Mulgrew. Kate Mulgrew, just watching uh, Roger Reese, like Tony Head, Very you know, spoiler. come in and do these amazing scenes. To see these amazing characters, to see people work at the the maximum potential amount, the maximum talent amount, you know, that made no sense, but whatever that is. No, I understand. <laughs> Does that make any sense? They're, 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 I just fell down the sugar high. To make the most out of the written word. I mean, these are actors that 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 bring um, not only um, you know careers, years and years of, of stakes, acting. status, real status. Yeah, sure. You know, I mean, it's to, for for me, I like to go and when we're have, when those people are working together, just go and watch. You know, because it's uh, it's really it's cool a lesson, to watch especially that. with Saul. Do you watch each, Do you watch yourselves? I do. I do. Why not? They're like NFL training things. Do you remember when uh, the first time you heard your voice, mm -hmm. when it was recorded, how horrified you were? That's what it's like every time when I watch myself. Do you love your voice? Maybe I'm living over. Me too. <laughs> you heard how long this question was? Welcome home. Welcome home, baby. <laughs> Welcome home, baby. <laughs> Self, meet yes. other selves. <laughs> um, it, it horrifies me, you know. And the other thing is, I can't do anything about it. I, I, I know how I, I can. Sometimes objectively, I'll watch a beat or a moment, and I go, okay, I didn't get that the way that I wanted to. How can I fix that the next time? But for for me, I, I it just makes me upset because I can't change the things that I want to change or the edits when they pick takes up because of sound or from some other issue that I don't have any control over. Why? Why do that to myself? And that being said, then why why do you do you really feel like you can alter? Because I, I would be more in your camp of, damn, I wish I'd done that differently, but it's on film now, so. You know, I don't I don't know if you can actually learn much from it, but when I watch it, I just watch it. So I go, oh, okay, I didn't I didn't really suck there. You know, <laughs> it wasn't embarrassing. You know, I think if he's anyone, also being modest. He's if, quite a good actor. Thanks, you are. Thanks. You are. But if somebody, I just feel like oh, if someone else is watching that, one of my peers, you know, like if another actor might tune in or be flipping through, I, I feel like I, I haven't embarrassed myself. As long as I can walk away and be like, well, like one one time we had to play drunk, and I think from, I think that that is the hardest thing is to be able to play drunk without without it being a caricature. And to be able to be, to, I mean, and I felt like that that was one of the few times I was like, oh, I missed it there. Yeah, I felt like I missed it too. You know? Yeah. It just felt like, you know, it was overplayed for me. That's yeah. why I said.